Memoirs of a Victorian Detective. As the summer of 1885 drew to its close, it seemed my time working alongside Inspector Murder was itself reaching a conclusion. With each member of the agency drawn towards a new chapter in their lives, we embarked on a journey to Penzance, where the inspector had been summoned to work on a case by a mysterious employer. Oh, that's the air. Oh, how I've missed this old place. <laughs> oh, I'd no Penzance anywhere. That's what you said when we stopped in Yeovil. It's slight miscalculation. <laughs> and Basingstoke. Well... And Fulham. It's been a while... Oh, I remember summer holidays down here as a nipper. <laughs> Felt like a world away from London. Oh, here come the others. <coughs> Oi, Sergeant Arsake, I am not sharing a cab with this up chucking chump on the way back. Oh, how is he? Not good, I'm afraid. Oh. Are we here at last? Yes, no fear, Luke. We've arrived. Your stomach is safe now. Oh, I wish I could say the same for my spats. <laughs> It's ankle deep in there. Sorry, I've never been good at long journeys. At least we're here now. Is this the hotel? It's very swish. Uh, All paid for by our anonymous contractor. He's meant to be here to meet us. Indeed he is. Good Lord. How uncanny. I I think my vision's gone again. I'm seeing double. Are you... Cornelius Murder, at your service. It's good to see you again, brother mine. Unbound Theatre presents Inspector Murder Inspects, created by Dario Knight and Gareth Johnson. Episode 4, A Pirate. What the hell are you doing here? That's something of a delicate matter. You never told me you had a brother. <laughs> We're not what you'd call close, miss. Norda, Laura Norda. And this is Adelaide Vaughan. Hello. Constant Surveillance. Florida. Luke for Clues. Afternoon. Edwin Royston Smith. All right, Mush. And Teddy Russell. The pleasure is mine. Quite the entourage. I'd anticipated you coming alone, brother. Is that a problem? No, no, not at all. Just tell the hoteliers you're with me, and they'll sort out rooms for you. All the same, I'm afraid the matter I called you down here for is somewhat delicate. For your ears only, no offence. None taken. Perhaps once you've settled into your lodgings, you might come out to St Michael's Mount to discuss it further. I'd be most grateful of your help. In the meantime, welcome to God's own country, all of you. Arrogant prick. Inspector, that's a bit harsh. He seems like a charming fellow. Spitting image of you. Trick's the right word, then. You don't sound much alike, if I may say. He always had airs and graces. Pay him no attention. He doesn't deserve it. Anyway, we're meant to be enjoying ourselves. One last holiday together. Let's get to our room, shall we? Sounds like my kind of gaff. Come on, we'd better see if we can help. Law enforcement coming through. What's happened? Looks like there's some sort of pageant going on. More than that. A stage, a band, prop boxes, scenery. They're putting on a show. Who's in charge here? That would be Lloyd. Where is he? On the stretcher. Oh, oh, it's agony. Who did this to you? It was an accident. I didn't realise it was a real gun. Someone's been titting about with the props. You're the stage manager. You should have checked. Don't you cast aspersions on me. It was definitely a fake one when I set the table up. Someone must have switched it. Just get him inside. Help's been called for. You mark my word. He did this. He can't be trusted. Who can't? Laura, Adelaide. I think you ought to go with them. See if you can get any more information out of him. Right you are. Teddy boy and me will come and all. Really? Well, the bar's got to be in there somewhere, hasn't it? Good call. Hopefully a whiff of strong gin sling will dislodge the smell of vomit from the old nostrils. Right then. My name is Inspector Murder, and my team are here to inspect this... attempted murder. Accident. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, or rather... My colleagues Dr. Vaucluse and Dr. Royston Smith will be. I must away to Sir Michael's Mount. Are you sure, sir? My brother Cornelius isn't to be trusted, Luke. I must see what he wants before he has time to get up to some nefarious scheme. I'll leave you to gather statements. Yes, sir. 
Very well. First of all, I need some questions answered. Too right. What's the show and when's it on? Pirates of Penzance. And we're meant to be on tomorrow night. Oh, perfect. And who was the chap in the stretcher? The director. Ah, I guess that's put the kibosh on the play then. Out of the question. The holiday players have been putting summer show on here for 20 years. Why all the tents if you don't mind me asking? That's the tradition. Entire company pitches up on Monday, rehearses through to Friday and puts the show on at the hotel pavilion on the Saturday. Fat chance now with the director out of action. Well, I don't like to boast, but I I do have a little theatrical experience myself. Really? Yes. As it happens, I'm in the middle of writing my own musical. It's about a shoe shiner called... Yes, that's fascinating, but back to the matter in hand. Are you saying you can take over from Lloyd and get this thing ready in time for the old biddies who come to watch? It'll be a doddle! I don't mind saying, I know the works of Gilbert and Sullivan inside out. I was once asked to leave HMS Pinafore for getting overexcited in the dress circle. I'd be happy to direct. Are you sure that's wise, me old China? The inspector did ask us to... It's not just the directing, though. Yes, Lloyd was playing the Major General as well. Know that one inside out, do you? But of course. Maestro? I am the very model of a modern major general. I've information, vegetable, animal and mineral. I know the kings of England and I quote the fights historical. From marathon to Waterloo in order categorical. I'm very well acquainted too with matters mathematical. I understand equations both the simple and quadratical. About my name and theorem I am teeming with a lot of news. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypothesis. Many cheerful facts about the square of the hypothesis. I know the scientific names of beings and animalculus. In short, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, I am the very model of a modern major general. In short, in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, he is the very model of a modern major general. Encore! Bravissimo! Yeah, all right, you're in. Yes, my directorial debut! What about the shooting? Consider it an undercover investigation. Now then, actors, assemble! First things first, you must all have a squirt of my patented throat spray. Does wonders for the vocal cords. I always carry a bottle around should the limelight call. You first. Open wide. Okay. Uh... (coughs) Bloody hell. Ah, needs more work, I fear. Never mind, the show must go on. Right, stick him down here. They'll be here in a minute to cut him off to the hospital. A touch more care might not go amiss. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can dress the wound. Oh, I'm done for now. Is this death? Does the land beyond the veil await? Yes. Yes, I can I can see the light beckoning me to the horizon. And beyond it... Mother. Papa. Little Lloydikins is coming to you. Oh, I go. Oh. Actually, sir, I, I don't think the bullet hit you. It looks like it just grazed your shoulder. Damn. Waste of good material. Uh, pretend you didn't hear it. We'll do our best. Mm, much obliged. Uh, I'm Lloyd Pocklington, by the way. Are you from the hospital, perchance? Actually, we wanted to ask about the accident. You seem to have an idea as to which of your troops swapped the prop gun for the real one. One of that lot? Oh, don't be absurd. They wouldn't know a brain cell if you were to play about it and cast them in the starring role. No, you mark my words, it was the hotel owner. A spiteful little wretch. Why him? Murder's not exactly good for business. Oh, unless you're us now, I think of it. There's been a change of management recently. The former proprietor, Arthur Arrowsmith, God rest his soul, was a big supporter of our little troop. His son, Benjamin, on the other hand, has been positively obstructive ever since we arrived. Won't let us use the pavilion to store our props. Tried to get our tents moved off the lawn. Oh, he's brought shame on the family, if you ask me. I don't suppose you know where we might find him to... No idea. Keeps himself locked away in his office most of the time. It was news to us Arthur even had a son. Something of an estranged arrangement, I gather. Been living overseas much of his life, then came back to claim his inheritance. And sabotage our show, Philistine. Right, 
Carriage is here. Away we go. Oh, the indignity. Oh, fare thee well. Good night, ladies. Good night, sweet ladies. Good night. Good night. So, Benjamin Arrowsmith next, after we've updated the inspector. Leon Macduff. No, no, no! That's not how you do it! What? Breathing, you mean? You're not feeling it! I am! My lungs are burning! You don't just go in and out and in and out! That's amateur! You're artists! You need to find the truth of the act, the inspiration, the motivation to breathe! Uh, By motivation, you mean not wanting to suffocate? No! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I cannot function in this kind of environment. I'm an innovator. I need proper actors. Proper actors? Right. I'm all. Yeah, me too. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean it. It, it was just a, it, it was, it was role play. We're just role playing a scenario. You need to roll with it. <laughs> we are rolling with it. Rolling away. Come on, Mavis. What? No, 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 no. You're not her. You can't take the pianist. Damn it. What are we going to do now? I think calming down might be a good start. Ah, I was beginning to think you'd abandoned me. You could have picked a drier spot for a chit-chat. It's worse than the time Constance turned the agency into an aquarium and started hunting the fish with a mallet. You might have called ahead to report you had company. I did say in the note that you were to come alone. I oh, don't trust missives from strangers. If you knew it was me, you wouldn't have come. I trust missives from you even less. Don't think I didn't spot the gun under your jacket. Drop it on the floor. Oh, brother mine, I'd hardly... Oh, you definitely, brother mine. Drop it. I'd hoped you'd be rather more amicable since we last met. I have a long memory, and I don't forgive betrayal easily. Don't be so ever dramatic. It was only a case. It was far more than that, and you know it. Regardless, it's done. And now you need my help. I need your protection. Someone's trying to kill me. Well, I must say this unexpected excursion to the coast is most welcome. (laughs) Fine wine, fine company, fine music. Hold on, I can't hear a word! Ah, You said you'd stop doing that! Oh, put a lid on it! Ah, I knew I should have been a flautist. Constance, Teddy, have you seen the inspector? Afraid not. We've searched the entire hotel. He's still not back from speaking to his brother. Miss Norder, Miss Vaughan, Mr Russell. Dr. Vercluse requests your help. What's happened? He's taking command of the theatre crowd on the lawn, but I'm afraid he's... Well, scared a few of them off. He's asked if you'll help cover for them. Oh, how fun. Fine by me. Sounds like a lark. Count me in. Actually, Mr. Valence, he specifically asked for you not to be involved. What? Bloody snob! He wouldn't know talent if it bit him on the baby maker. I'm sure if we just have a chat with him, he'll... No, fuck him! He's on his own! I'm off for a kip! Are you joining us, Laura? I really should find the inspector. I need to tell him about Lloyd and speak to the hotel owner, the elusive Mr Arrowsmith. I haven't seen him anywhere either. The inspector will turn up soon. And if we're working on the show, then we're in the perfect place to protect the actors. Come on, we are meant to be on holiday. And you're the only other pianist we know. I'm right here. Come off it, Cornelius. I mean it. I'm being targeted, and I'm not the only one. Someone's out to get me. Who have you stabbed in the back this time, then? One of your snivelling little civil service chums? And will you grow up? I wouldn't even entertain the notion of reaching out to you unless the situation was desperate. Here we are. The truth at last. You never gave a toss about the rest of the family. Now is not the time to drag up all of... It's exactly the damn time. Five years without a word. Without a single bloody word. And now I owe you my help. This is serious. And it's bigger than a petty squabble. Then call the police. I can't. Why? I can't say. Childish drivel. The police are already involved. 
This goes all the way to the top of society, brother mine. The civil service is just the start. Nobody's safe. Not a single damn institution in England. You have to help before law and order themselves come crashing down. I don't use these words lightly, nor willfully, but I'm begging you. Well, I suppose I could look into it. For England, you understand, not for you. Thank you. I've prepared a set of notes. For your eyes only, you must not involve your friends. Well, when the hell are you going to bring it in? Who's that? I thought we were alone. Coming from near that boat, I think. I'll get to you as soon as I can. There have been unforeseen delays. Good grief. That's Arrowsmith, the new hotelier. Just back from America, I gather. Not sure who the sailor chap is. I'm setting sail at high tide tomorrow afternoon. Either you bring me the cargo, or I leave you to get rid of it yourself, right? Understood. I just need to iron out a few problems, then you'll have it. Sounds a bit suspect to me. <laughs> you, you don't suppose they're the Pirates of Penzance, do you? <laughs> don't be absurd. <sighs> Cat like tread upon a prey we steal In silence tread our cautious way we feel No sound at all, we never speak a word A fly's foot fall would be distinctly heard Tarantara, 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 tarantara So stealthily the pirate creeps while all the house of sound sleeps Come friends who plough the sea Trace to navigation, take another station Let's very piracy With a little burglary And again, an addiction Come friends who plough the sea Trace to navigation, take another station Let's very piracy With a little burglary Bravo! Bilgewater! Steady on, Gov. We're doing our best to help you out, you know. I thought we were barely good. I've not moved like that since I tangoed with the Duchess of Abergavenny. And let me tell you, she could do some extraordinary things with her toes. <laughs> Left nostril's not been the same since. Edwin, Teddy, you're doing very well, my loves. Really, you are. My problem is this square-toed, flat-footed, sorry excuse for the chorus. It's a simple box step, people. Why are we not getting this right? Luke, calm down. This is simply not living up to my directorial vision. Laura, I cannot work with this rabble. Perhaps a bit of gentle, encouraging direction would help. Take them through the steps again and I'm sure they'll pick them up with alacrity. Just be kind. Right. Inner resilience, Lucius. You are a strong, capable leader and you have everything you need to succeed. Be calm. Be a mountain stream, trickling toward the sea. Trickle, 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 trickle. <coughs> Very well, everyone. Follow my lead. It's back and back, left cross, right cross, and back and back, left cross, right cross, everyone! That doesn't sound too clever. I keep telling you, they've the time yield a bent clock. Looking down. The entire stage just took a bow. Is everyone all right? Steady as you get up. I'll see if there are any more chairs in the pavilion for you to rest on. You see, even God Almighty thinks you're sorry useless. This is divine intervention, this is. Actually, Gov, I reckon it's sabotage. What? Look here at the boards. Not a nail in any of them. Plenty of holes, though. Looks like some crafty soul's taken the lot. Only a matter of time before it went tits up. First the gun, now the stage... Laura, take a look at this. What is it? The pavilion. The door's covered in bolts and locks. It's like a bank vault. The windows are all covered as well. Lloyd said the owner wouldn't let the actors in to store their props. I wonder what it is he's got locked up in there. Right. I think that's plenty for one day. The reputation of the theatre's been sullied quite enough. As you were, people. We start from scratch first thing in the morning. Someone fetch me a strong drink and a masseuse. Stupid, bloody scientist and his comical giant opera! 
Excuse me, child. You're excused. I couldn't help but notice you're kicking the headstones. What of it, priest pants? Oh, nothing. Other than the sin of desecrating the final resting place of my parishioners, but that aside... Yeah? Well, if you must take out your frustrations, I, I don't suppose you could aim for the stones that are already a bit askew. Kick them back into line, so to speak. Hmm. That sounds like a public service to me. There's a stone here, for instance, for one of your fellow countrymen. Perhaps you'd like to boot that one. Not all Welsh people are related, you know, bigot. No, of course. I just thought you might be able to apply your singular talents to assist the late Mr. Dinnisleep. Who? Mr. Dinnisleep. Die, Dinnisleep. Bloody hell! Uncle Di! I wondered what happened to him after the explosion. And the court case. And the other explosion. May I ask what inspires such anger in you, my child? Sodden scientists, that's what! Yes, I sympathise. Won't catch me going near that stupid poxy hotel again. They can shove their play where the shit's never shone. The hotel? Oh, of course. Uh, the travelling players are there this weekend, aren't they? I am partial to a little drama. Well, you'll love it this year, then. One bloke nearly had his nose blown through the back of his bonds. Good grief. You mean there was an attack? Won't be the last if I've anything to do with it. How upsetting. He was fine. The gunman missed. Nonce. No, I mean how upsetting not to have heard about it sooner. I don't mind saying I'm something of an amateur sleuth when it comes to these underhanded deeds. I love a mystery. I'm farther down, by the way. A priest who's also a detective? Pull the other one, he's got bollocks on. On my honour, it's true. I've solved all manner of curious matters in the parish. I'd certainly like to find out more about this shooting. At the hotel, you say? Interesting. What is? I'd heard rumours the new owner was something of a wayward sheep from God's flock. He's acquired quite the handsome inheritance, I gather, but not much is known about him. Rumour abounds he was involved in some rather unsavoury activities on the high seas. I wonder if he might have something to do with the attack. Well, search me. That wouldn't get us very far. His private office, however... Are you suggesting we sneak into the hotel, break into his office, ransack the place, find some dirt on him and cut him out of every penny the little twat's got in his pockets? Actually, I, I was more concerned about the welfare of the... Sod the lab rat and his musical. This'll be much more fun. No, I was inferring that we should interview the owner in his private office and then perhaps, whilst we're there, we might inadvertently spy some piece of evidence Get that... me a crowbar, a small bag of gunpowder and a bottle of brandy and meet me at the hotel in ten minutes. I... Um, all right. Perfect, see you there. It's not my fault. My fingers are all bent out of shape. Here we are, Dr. Vercluse. Cheers. Cheers. I'm glad I've got you to myself at last. You recall my idea of us setting up shop in a new laboratory? Somewhere a bit roomier than that cellar at the agency? Oh, yes. Well, i found it. Slap bang in the middle of town. All the latest facilities and room to expand. It's a bit pricey, but, well, with the inventions we'll be knocking up, it will pay for itself inside of six months. What do you say? I don't know, Edwin. Leaving the inspector after all this time, it's... it's difficult. I know, Squire, really I do, but... think of the lives we could change if we start inventing full time. And besides, doesn't do well to shirk at new endeavours. Yes. Yes, you're right. I suppose my work has become somewhat stagnant these last few years. We'll arrange a viewing when we return to London. Perfect. Of course, after this weekend, who knows? A career in the theatre may soon be born. Yeah. Evening, Luke. Edwin. 
Inspector, Laura's been looking for you all afternoon. What have you been up to? Family matters. How are things progressing here? I'm directing a light opera. Right. Where's Laura? Over there with Adelaide. Uh, Laura, Miss Vaughan, he's back. Oh, at last. How's your brother? I'd rather not talk about it. What news of the shooting? The director thinks the hotel manager's to blame. He's been trying to get rid of the actors since they've arrived. On top of that, we reckon someone's out to sabotage the play. Nearly injured the entire company. And the pavilion they normally use for storage has been locked up like a bank vault. I see. And where is this owner fellow? The staff say he's seldom seen, but he usually has a brief tour of the site each evening. We're on the lookout. What about that bloke there? Looks like he's the boss of something, certainly. You can tell by the walk. Arrowsmith? I saw him at the mount. Cornelius identified him. Excuse me, uh, uh, Mr Arrowsmith? Yes? I was wondering if I might ask you a few questions about some accidents that have occurred on your grounds, all connected with the visiting theatre company. (laughs) That lot. Sooner they leave, the better. We suspect someone may be trying to do them harm, or at the very least scare them off. And news to me. None of my business. And we're curious about your pavilion on the lawn. I gather it's rather more fortified than usual. Basic security precautions. Look, are you with the police? Uh, Not exactly. Uh, Then I'll thank you to keep your questions to yourself and your nose is out of matters which have got nothing to do with you. Oh, enjoy your stay. What a charming fellow. Yes, coupled with the curious chap he was talking to at the mount, I'd say it was time to dig a little deeper. The pavilion? The pavilion. Seems he's knocked the place up good and proper. Quick, before he gets back! Uh, Look, child, I know I said I was partial to a mystery, but this really isn't my style of investigation. What the heavens? That's got his safe open. So what else do we know about this bloke, then? Loaded, I'll bet. Benjamin Arrowsmith's his name. I gather he was living abroad and came back to England to inherit his father's estate, including the hotel. Naturally, the late Mr. Arrowsmith left a sizable donation to the church. Bloody hell. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Not that. This little lot. Well, blow me nightly. Sergeant Shitstain needs to see this. Bugger, he's on to us. Constance? What are you doing here? I heard an explosion. It's the siren call of my sweetheart. Oh, don't be wet, you soppy puke kazoo. Who's this with you? I, my goodness, have we met before? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I'm farther down. Teddy Russell, are you sure? Your face looks ever so familiar. Are you on holiday from the capital too? Oh, no. I'm Cornish born and bred, my fine fellow. Never set foot out of the county. Now then, judging by that clock on the mantel, I'm late for my even song. Loath as I am to miss a mystery, I must leave you to resolve it. Bless you, my children. Curious fellow. Never mind that. I need to find the clotted cream of Scotland Yard. You come in. No, I think I'll have a shufty round here first. I spy some nice little trinkets to pilfer. Save some for me. I'll be back. Beautiful evening. Reminds me of the sunsets back home. Endless skies and not a building in sight. Any sign of the inspector? Not yet. I was meaning to ask. When we arrived, he said this was one last holiday. What did he mean? We had a talk, after all the business at the distillery, about how everyone seems to be headed their separate ways. The family's breaking up. Does that mean you're ready, then, to set up on our own, like I said? I don't know. It's all happened so quickly. A few months ago, I'd never have imagined... Here, take your mind off of it. Help me practice my song for the show. Okay.
It's not important. I, um... I know you mean well about all this work business, but I've still so much I can learn from the inspector. I'm not ready to leave him yet, but, well, maybe I don't need to live at the agency as well as work there. You mean? When we get back to London, let's start looking for somewhere. And after that... We'll see. I understand. Our own place. <laughs> I know. A proper home. Just the two of us. Right, I've got the tools. Uh, let's see what Mr. Arrowsmith's hiding in the pavilion. Oh, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Uh, far be it for me to come between two star-crossed lo- You can open the door now. Yes. Um, mm, oh, this looks like an almighty fortification. Uh, padlocks the size of dinner plates. Yeah, practically impenetrable. Oh. Mr. Arrowsmith? What are you lot doing here? I told you to mind your own business. We're just out for a moonlit stroll. Stand aside. No, stay out of there. What? What's that smell? And what? There's someone in here. I think... I think he's dead. Oh, my God. Explain yourself, Mr. Arrowsmith. Wait, I found a pulse. Adelaide, fetch a doctor. Uh, uh, Okay. Well, then, young man, what's going on? I can fill that one in, boy. Constance? Where have you been? I've done a bit of snooping of my own. In this bloke's safe. How dare you? Quiet, Arrowsmith. Wrong. What? He's not Arrowsmith. What? Found his papers. His real name's Alden Wesley. He's a Yank. Damn it. Hold on. Cornelius said Arrowsmith had been living in America. Where he went into business with this character. Not that it was going well. They were in deep shit with the banks, judging by the paperwork. So where's Arrowsmith? Why would he... Wait, is this Arrowsmith? You locked him up. I can explain. Oh, I think I can guess. Before you spin us a load of lies, Arrowsmith Senior dies and his estranged heir is summoned home to inherit a fortune. Only nobody here has seen him since he was a child, so wouldn't recognise him. Your business was on its knees and you spotted a chance to save yourself. Take Arrowsmith's place, claim the money and then run for it. Why keep him in here though? I saw you on the mount, promising some suspicious sailor cargo to ship out in the morning. You were going to have him taken to some godforsaken rock and left there, weren't you? Why not just kill the fucker? Not my style. I couldn't risk leaving him stateside in case he talked. Not your style? Coward. We travelled over together. I ambushed him first chance I got, before anyone saw him. Found somewhere quiet to keep him locked up, and the damn actors showed up. I couldn't move him out again. So you tried to scare them off by swapping the gun and then sabotaging the stage? Almost worked. A man could have died. What is that smell? Last resort. Couldn't move him without risking the ham seeing him, so... Sulfur shed in gas... Burn him to a crisp. All right, Wesley. No sudden moves. Drop the match. Uh, okay. Ah! Laura! See ya! Drop the match? Cretinous fuckwit. <sighs> I'll get him. Quickly, Laura, out you come. I'm through. What about Arrowsmith? I couldn't lift him. Stone the crows. Who let Constance near the pavilion? Luke, Edwin, there's a man in there. See if you can get him out. I must apprehend the criminal. Good luck. He's near the door. I can see him. Hold on. Dr. Vercluse. <coughs> Nearly there. Get out, quick. It's all right. I got him. He's safe. Damn it. Unlucky love. First you cock up the abduction, then the fraud, and now you can't even make a proper run for it. Only ways over the cliffs. Fancy your chances? You strike me as the entrepreneurial kind. Oh, I have my price. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. 
Old man Arrowsmith had plenty stashed away. Let me go. Half of it's yours. Oh. Right you are, Yankee Doodle. Shake on it. Constance! What are you doing? Belt up, Constable Krusty Cock. Come on then. Close the deal. Shake. A pleasure doing business with you. Jesus, that's a tight grip. <laughs> Let go. Ah, 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 shit! <laughs> oh, he wasn't expecting the old valence half Nelson. <laughs> no point struggling, Flower. Me and my business partner have already looted your office for anything worth having. You've what? So you can take your deal and shove it. Excellent. <laughs> Come on then, young Wesley. The police will be here shortly. Bite me. Whoa! On the edge. Help! Whoa! I've got you. Cornelius! Let me go! No chance. Give your hands off me, ugly ass witch. Uh-oh. Right. Ow! Jesus! What's happening? Cornelius, oh, I'm slipping! Don't struggle. I've almost got you. There! Back on solid ground. By the saints! I thought I was a goner then. Constance, uh, I think you've proved your point. Don't you strain yourself. I'll do all the bloody work. Right, come on, useless S. Grant. Back to the hotel. <sighs> Cornelius. I knew that swine was up to no good when we saw him at the mount. I've been following him ever since. You saved my life. <laughs> you always had a knack for falling off of things. I promised Mother I'd be around to catch you. Or laugh if it wasn't a bad fall. <laughs> That's no surprise. But all the same, thank you, brother mine. That's Aerosmith on his way to hospital. They say he'll be fine once he's over the concussion. And the police have taken Wesley away, so that's sorted. Reckon it might be an idea to put out the pavilion at some point. I say, I've just seen a fellow being carted off with so many bruises he looks like an overripe plum. Do I detect your handiwork, O oh muse of ire? Might do. Muse of Aya. <laughs> do I sense romance in the air, Constance? Yeah, with this sponge, no chance. Did you loot the office? I did indeed. We'll divvy up the winnings later. How do you find out about the safe, may I ask? Got the idea from a local priest. Fancied himself as a detective. Wanted to find out what Arrow Shaft was up to. Arrow Smith. Or Wesley, to give him his proper name. Crime-solving clergy, pull the other one. Whoever he was, you did well, Constance. Yes, an excellent job. Shall we retire to the bar for a snifter or seven? Hmm, you're paying. Come on, let's enjoy the rest of our holiday in peace. Good idea. And tomorrow? Well, new adventures await. Indeed they do. Oh, shut your yaps! We're losing booze and time! I'll catch you up. I have something to ask the inspector first. Well done, Constance. First-rate work. First rate indeed, Miss Surveillance. He really has got his hands full with you, hasn't he? Well, not for much longer. Well then, with that little problem solved, I can start looking into this top secret matter of yours, Cornelius. Yes, I've been pondering that. I think perhaps I should speak to the police after all. I was wrong to bother you with it. But you said the police were already involved. You, you told me nobody was safe. And I meant it. But there's still time to stop the whole dark matter swallowing you as well. Run, brother mine. When you and your friends are finished here, for the love of what's left, run. Not to London. It's not safe. Just round up those you know you can trust and keep a low profile. This whole wretched web leads to the most dangerous of spiders. Pray you're not ensnared in it. Cornelius... Uh, I mean it. Now that we're, well, on friendly terms again, I realise it was a mistake calling you here. You must give me back that envelope. You really are terrified of this, aren't you? Yes. Then I shall help you. But... Not a word more. I'll do what I can. Evening, Inspector. Cornelius? Uh, Luke! Uh, is all taken care of at the hotel? Indeed it is. Well... Barring one small matter. Oh, yes. I wondered if I might beg a favour of you, sir. It's silly, really, but I'd kick myself if I never asked. What is it? Well, 
You recall that group of actors? When a felon's not engaged in his employment His employment Or maturing his felonious little plans Little plans His capacity for innocent enjoyment Sent enjoyment Is just as great as any honest man Honest man Our feelings we with difficulty smother Culty smother When constabulary duties to be done To be done I'll take one consideration with another, with another. A policeman's lot is not a happy one. Ah, ah. When constabulary duties to be done, to be done, a policeman's lot is not a happy one. When the enterprising burglar's not a burgling, not a burgling. when the cutthroat isn't occupied in crime. He loves to hear the little brooker gurgling. Brooker gurgling! And listen to the merry village chime. Village chime! When the coster's finished jumping on his mother. On his mother! He loves to lie a basking in the sun. In the sun! I'll take one consideration with another. With another! An inspector's lot is not a happy one. When constabulary duties to be done, to be done, an inspector's lot is not a happy one. Are we done? Inspector Murder Inspects was created by Gary Knight and Gareth Johnson. It starred Alistair Sanderson as the inspector, Emily Pugh as Laura, Joe Pratt as Constance, and Andrew Faber as Luke with Stephanie Hull as Adelaide, Gareth Johnson as Edwin, Andrew Shaw as Teddy, Philip Donnelly as Cornelius, Stephen J. Davies as Wesley, Brian Murray as Father Down, David Alt as Lloyd and the Sailor, Katie Herbert as the stage manager, Archie Wilson and Pete Benson as the actors, John North as the pianist, and Daniel McGinty as the porter. Music was by Kevin McLeod and Matt Black, and editing by Gareth Johnson. It was produced and directed by Dario Knight for Unbound.